welcome, welcome. I'm Elizabeth Harper from Seal With Love. I'm here on numerologist.com with this week's angel messages. So what I'd love for you to do is place your hands over your heart just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. All right, you ready? We're using Keepers of the Light angel cards today. So let's shuffle the cards first. Cleanse the energy. I kind of do that as well. I just tap them. <laughs> it's like clapping. Just shifting that energy. All right. So number one. Number one. Your message is... Mary Magdalene, Teacher Awakens. Kind of interesting, isn't it? So I was just saying about tapping and cleansing. So I feel like that's a teaching moment. So when you look at this, there's a lot of pink and red and white and green. A lot of love. So it says, you have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. So one of the reasons I feel that Mary Magdalene is coming up around that is that she was supposed to be the 13th disciple, right? Number 13, we think of 13 as unlucky. It's feminine with the moons, 13 moons in a year, that kind of vibration. It's a feminine energy. So when I tune into this, I feel that it's about stepping outside of the box that you may have been in your comfort zone and you've stayed in that comfort zone and you haven't, taken a risk or or done something different or just allowed yourself to let your hair down there's just this sense of allowing yourself to be I feel like that's the teaching moment as opposed to just being the teacher because the teacher awakens you are a teacher we're all teachers we have this wisdom within us we channel that wisdom we can tap in to that vibration we are all teachers we teach each other. We have no friends. We have no enemies. We only have teachers. And you are a teacher. So when I tune into this, it feels like it's about stepping out of your comfort zone. Because when you think about the message of the disciples or, or how we look at the disciples, we see 12 men and one woman. So there is a, a feeling to me that you are standing out from the crowd being different and that difference is allowing you to be the teacher to be the guide to be the leader and it's not necessarily leading others it's about just being in your own authentic identity Mary Magdalene teacher awakens what does it mean for you I love that. Number two. Number two is another feminine energy, Kuan Yin. Care and compassion. We see all that pink again right there. And all the lotus flowers. How many lotus flowers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect, right? Nine. Completion. So it says choose to be love it doesn't say choose to love it says choose to be love do what is right for everyone involved offer a helping hand so care and compassion when i think of this and kuan yin i feel like it's about self that it says offer a helping hand you know it is helping others when we help ourselves we help others don't we when we give love to ourselves we give others permission to give love to us and to themselves we lead by example so who needs the most love at the moment is it you is it somebody in your life and it might not be a person it might be an animal it might be a plant it might be your crystals where does that love need to go at this moment and it might be to all of the above <laughs> to everyone to yourself to others to the animals to the crystals everything everyone care and compassion Kuan Yin when I look at that pink it's a little bit lilac pink so there's transformation that is there it feels like transforming with grace 
and being compassionate and understanding about that transformation. We struggle sometimes, don't we, with transformation. <laughs> we go kicking and screaming, throw our toys out of the pram. I don't like this. Sometimes we want to stay static. I don't want that change because it's scary. But then when you're on the other side of change, uh, it's looking back and, and seeing and understanding that change was so needed. And I feel with this, that it's about being compassionate for ourselves, loving for ourselves. Change is happening. It's happening for you, it's happening for many, it's happening for the world, and it's being compassionate and loving and understanding about that change for others and for yourself. How can you love yourself more at the moment? What can you do to love yourself more? You know, your angels are always with you. Just call on your angels to help you with that question. How can you love yourself more? And see what comes to you. Number three. Number three. So this is the divine director, which is kind of an interesting terminology, isn't it? Intervention and purpose. So look at all that violet that's there. Violet's change. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Yes, it is. It's kind of interesting with this image. It almost looks um, extraterrestrial. It looks kind of like Star Trek or something. So when I look at it, I see blue, I see blue and violet, blue and violet in Orosoma is the guardian angel. It's the guardian angel of vibration. It's the angelic realm and communication with the angelic realm. Divine director, intervention and purpose. Call on your angels to help you to understand your purpose at this moment. If you're feeling confused, if there's a lack of clarity, if you feel like you don't know where you're going, you don't know where you've come from. You don't know who you are. You don't know what the answer is. They just call in your angels for advice and support and help. The thing is, sometimes we ask for help and we expect it immediately. It, it's like a, a drive-through. <laughs> I want that food now. And it's the same with angelic advice. That sometimes we ask and we accept we expect that we're going to get that advice and guidance and support right now. And the energy is there right now. But we might not be exactly open to receiving it because sometimes we have an idea in our minds of what that guidance is going to be, what that advice, that love, that support is going to be, and that can get in the way. We create a blockage by our expectations. So if you allow your heart to be open to whatever that guidance can be, however it might manifest for you, however small it is, and trust, have faith that of course it's there for you, and it'll be smooth sailing. Sometimes we ask and we expect a certain type of support. And that's not always the way it's going to be. So we miss the clues, the cosmic clues, and the advice that comes in from our angels. And we think that we haven't received any. We think they've forgotten us. We think that we're not hearing anything. We're not connecting, or they're just not coming up. Uh, and being with us and supporting us, but they are, they're there all the time. That energy is there all the time. Just open yourself up to the clues and ask your angels to shout it, to, to remind you, to keep sending those clues to you so that you can get it. Ask them to help you to get it. I love that. Thank you so much as always for being with me. Our angel messages this week. Sending you so much love. I'll see you next week. Angel blessing.